Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 5. This is our single team save with DeGroff Shop. And uh, we are, uh, we're struggling since last episode. So real quick, let's kind of just go over a few things. Because it's been a hectic, crazy week. And my weekend is going to get even more hectic. So need to catch you guys up. So first off, I may miss a couple of uploads next week maybe you guys know in four years that has not happened very rarely so um you may be aware my mom had emergency surgery last week uh had her right leg amputated uh she was put into the cancer ward now she doesn't have cancer but she was put into the cancer ward uh for just extra precautions for recovery and nobody was allowed to go see her so since she went into the hospital nobody has been able to see her or visit her so she's been in there alone uh she's also in a nursing home so you know um you know regularly so you know it's kind of stressful on the entire family uh yesterday afternoon my dad told me that they got authorization to move her to another floor where at least he can go in and visit. Now, due to COVID, everybody's limited to, you know, the hospitals are limiting to one visitor a day. Uh, so he's been, he went in there yesterday. He's been there today. So I am going to drive up Saturday. Uh, it's out of state. So I'm going to drive in Saturday to visit and then I'll spend the night, drive back Sunday. But then I go back to work on Monday my sister's going to drive in from out of state on Saturday night so she can visit on Sunday and then drive back to where she lives on Monday. Uh, so my dad will have to go two days without seeing her. But, uh, you know, that way we can get in and see her. I've been out of town this week. I took a road trip. I just got home about 30 minutes ago. And uh, so I'm <laughs> trying to catch up on recording. Uh, so I have not recorded this since last Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. Uh, on this series, Friday, I did some recording on the Bielsa series to get those done for this week. So normally I do all my recording on the weekend and rendering on Sunday and, and then during the week. Being out of town, I am going to lose all of my recording time. So this episode should go up Monday. Uh, so I am actually recording this today. I'll render it tomorrow. I'll have it up. I will try not to miss any episodes. If I do, I apologize in advance. Uh, but I will do my damnedest to make sure that you guys uh, don't miss any episodes. The other thing is, don't say I never listened to you. I have gotten some feedback that 30 minutes an episode could be too long. Uh, I know most of the YouTubers I watch are all 30 minutes, which is why I kind of fell into that routine. But, you know, I get it that, you know, I'm not first choice for uh, most people, and that's fine. I get it. Um, so there have been some suggestions. I've gotten several suggestions to scale back to one match per episode, which will scale these down to 12 to 18 minutes, typically in length. So we're going to try that. You know, I am going to put that out there. Now, the problem is that means you guys are going to see less games because I'm going to want to cover seasons in the same duration of time in the attempt to cover as many seasons as we can over the life of FM21. Now, I may not skip as many matches which could extend seasons by, you know, a couple of episodes. But just be aware, by cutting games, that's going to be less games per season that you guys see. So we'll do this for a little while, and then I'll look for some feedback from all of you guys. Do you like the one episode? Do you not like it? Why do you like it? Why don't you like it? Uh, is it helping you watch more? Is it helping you watch the full episode? Uh, you know, whatever. So just heads up on that. So that's kind of my life. It's been real crazy. And then, of course, finding out last, you know, I didn't find out till this morning that we could go in this weekend. Uh, so now all of a sudden I was four hours away working and I had to get home today 
to do some work here locally tomorrow and be ready to go out of town instead of getting home late tomorrow and not being able to go out of town this weekend because I just would have screwed up my schedule. So I'll be cranking out some content uh, tomorrow for sure. I'll try to get next week done, but trying to move from basically 48 hours to do a week's worth of episodes to 16 hours, give or take, uh, it's going to be tough, but I will endeavor to get done as much as I can. So let's get into the match. Only one match today. With that in mind, I did come back a little early for coming back for Cat Quick or Catwick. Uh, since the Excelsior loss, where we lost our cool and Macaui got mad at me, uh, a 3 2 loss to Dordrick, uh, goals by Hellstrom and Thibaut Martinez, a 2 0 win, Macau and Muhammad are two strikers, uh, Macaui, my bad. Camber beat us 1 0 and another 1 0 loss to Zwoll. And we are in dire straits. We have fallen from the top of the table, 31 points. Thankfully, the goal differential, but we are right in this group, uh, right on the edge of the playoffs. So not very happy with recent results. So let's get into it. I have, uh, I have tweaked some of the tactics just due to the problems. I'm also forcing the team into this tactic. They're not quite as good at it, but by actually playing it, we may be sacrificing a couple of games, but maybe that gives us another option because it's possible the AI is picking out uh, weaknesses in our game, and that's what's coming on board here. So I'm going to start Martinez up top, Banu and Fady Chelik. I have been uh, corrected on that. I think it was Spaceman uh, and uh, that gave me that. Uh, he was familiar with uh, Turkish uh, pronunciation a little bit. I believe it's Fadi Chelik. I'm probably going to always say Fadi just out of habit now. But I, uh, Chelik, I will work on making sure I do that right. Uh, Peters, Stamen, and Wreckers in the mid Sabuni, Nijman, Kook, and Dahan on the back line, and Varai in goal. Even though we're losing, we're only giving up, you know, like I said, a lot of 1 0 matches. Um, oh, I also need to show you transfer news. We have transferred, uh, let's see, Steinman, Jurgen Steinman, one of our veterans. Uh, came to me and said he wanted a new challenge, wanted to leave. So we've sold him to uh, Fortuna Sitard, $24,500, his value. Uh, he'll be leaving January 1st. And Nateb is also uh, joining us. Uh, he's going to Sitard as well, January 1st, for $245,000. We also brought a player in, and it's Oleg Taruda. He came in on a free he popped up in my in my uh, scouting. Uh, he is Ukrainian. I did kind of get it confused with my uh, other save with Bolin, who's a uh, Ukrainian team. And I said, oh, homegrown player. No, wrong save. But that's okay. Uh, that will continue to be a problem. Uh, it's because I have gray hair and I'm old that I can't keep things straight like that. Uh, which is why I don't normally do multiple things at one time. But uh, you can see he's a three-star three uh, center back. He can also play right and left back, uh, right only on his foot, four-star potential. Not much in the way of crossing, so I see him more of a true center back, uh, 11 heading, 10 marking, 15 tackling. He's got pace and acceleration. Again, solid work rate, uh, stamina, things that I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, not necessarily for this save. That's the Bielsa save, but it's kind of getting to be a habit now. But uh, So we've signed him. He has played two matches for us, scored a goal, 7.6 rating. So I think he's going to do all right. If I take a look at the coaching summary, he is right behind Nijman and Dahan, and he's in the mix with a few other guys, but definitely some upside. And you know what, Nijman, Kook... Why don't we, can I put him in here? Let's do that. Let's see if it'll let me do that. Uh, let's give him his debut for us. Oh, can he pass? He cannot. So we want to turn that off and make him a central defender. 
on defend. Going back. Tell you what, I'm going to drop these guys back to fullback just to make them a little more solid defensively and strengthen us up there. Nazala, inverted winger, cuts inside. He cannot finish. Rowan Peters, John Toll, Wreckers, Peters, yeah. All right, so let's... Let's make him a true winger on support, and we'll make him a Mazala on, and we'll make him a Mazala. We'll make him a defensive midfielder on support, and a true central midfielder on support. Put him a little farther forward, and. Fady Chelik, he certainly cannot finish. All right, well, we'll see how this works. Just trying to mix it up a little bit. All right, motivated, aggressive, composed. A little bit of motivation. All right, let me check something here. All right, so we can actually bring that out. Uh, this is now draggable. It may have been draggable before. I did not know it was, but it is now. I did hear, see that. So we're going to drag that out so we have a little bit more in the way of data here for you guys and for me. All right, we are going to demand more. And we are wearing the blue. All right, so the blue and white. And we get, ooh, look at that. That was class. Catwick, wearing the Dutch national colors. Oh, nice little ball movement there. That was poor. Dehan gets beaten on the outside. Oh my God, and De Jong, his 13th of the season, Bounced it all. Whoa, did the uh, goalkeeper just do the electric slide? Bounced it off the woodwork. Keeper laid out for it. Left a wide open goal. And uh, yeah, we're, we're not doing well. So now we're going to berate the entire team. I am going to risk losing them here. <laughs> Wreckers. And it bounced, oh, saved by the keeper. All right, Dahan, Fady Chelik into the box. And that is not a good finish. I'm really nervous about going away from the two strikers because we really don't have very good finishing yeah we just don't have much in the way of finishing all right so six shots here's another highlight out to dahan holds it up lost it and of course it's a great header out to de young or de young and i think they're going to call a penalty there and it's our new guy taruta with the foul I don't know, man. I think that was a little cheap. Moonen, it's a save. It is a save. Sets up a corner. I think at the at our sub, we may... Okay, Fady Chelik got the ball, got it out to Martinez. But see, when he's out that wide, there's nobody up there. Okay. We are we are struggling in danger of being booked. Okay, let's bring let's bring Kook on. I'm going to switch up to this tactic. I'm going to bring Peters up to the wing, Wreckers back to the mid, and McCauy up top. Yeah, let's do that. That's two subs. McCauley will not discuss a contract extension with us because he's unhappy uh, with my throwing the water bottle 
in that last episode <laughs> against Excelsior. So that's funny. All right, there's a nice ball. McCowey, and he pings from range, but Toomey makes the save. All right, let's pause it. Let's ask for fire up. All right, there's a good throw in. McCowey's back for it. He was being optimistic with that cross. All right, there's some good ball. Oh, nice little ball into Martinez, and he slots it home. Tebow Martinez, sixth of the season. I like him. I think he's going to be my new pairing up there. So I am happy with that. Let's incur. Eh, we can't do it yet. Uh, one yellow card away. Sabuni, huh? Sabuni's my left back. He is getting tired. All right, there's a header out, but nobody's on the ball. Let's encourage him now. Oh, come on. You've got to be shitting me. No way, man. All right, I want to watch. No, that ain't what I want to watch. Let me know in the comments if you think that was a penalty. That just seemed pretty weak. All right, that's out. I'm coming right back. All right, we're close enough. All right, let's go ahead and make that sub. Don't need to do that because we've already called it. Actually, you know what? No, I, I want to cancel that. Yes. All right. He's injured. All right. Uh, who is... Da Actually, Dahan is playing for shit. All right. Let's bring Steinman on for him. Now, let's work the ball into the box. Let's bring the attacking width out. Maybe open up some more channels. I think that's what we're going to do there. All right. Knocked away. Good job. Again, the ball goes to the other team easily. Nobody out there. Oh, there's a good interception. Oh, nice. Nice. McCowie into the box, and he slots it home. His 12th of the season, and that's an equalizer. Oh, if it wasn't for the penalties, we would be doing great. Very nice counter. All right, there goes our tactical change. Diamond or Steeman, Fady Chelik, Stamen up into the box. Oh, uh, out to Steinman. Records. Oh, there it is. And Peters offsides. No, come on. We're going to get a replay on that. Yes, we are. Oh, that was brutal. I, that was Sometimes the the offsides are so nitpicky, aren't they? Gee whiz. All right, that's lumped up. Oh, flick on header. Lehman's. Oh my god, I thought that was going to be a seeing eye goal at the back post. All right, let's Let's encourage. All right. Could be one of the last highlights. Click on header. We get to it. Deep into McCowie. Oh, what a beautiful drop cross. Oh, my gosh. I thought, Marti I thought McCowie was going to take the shot, and he just took a first-touch pass, dropped it over to the spot. That was a brilliant play i mean that's not a play you expect to see look oh that was just sickeningly beautiful for us all right we are going to uh 
praise the team here. All right, don't screw it up now, boys. That's all I can tell you. Please don't screw it up. Fady Chalik up into the zone. Oh, he, oh, that's a poor run. That was a poor run by McCowie. Oh, what a run back by Peters to snag that ball. The defender just kind of sat there softly thinking the ball was going to drop to him. Martinez with a shot. Fady Chalik drops it. Oh, another deflection. We're looking real dangerous since the tactical change. We end up with 17 shots, 7 on target, a 2.92 XG. Pretty happy with the result there. I think this is going to be a tactic we can run with for a little while. Uh, outstretched arms, what a comeback. And we pick up a much-needed three points. All right, so that vaults us back up into third position in the table, still within striking distance of the top of the table. And they only expect us to finish mid-table, so I think we are going to be fine. Taruta makes his debut. Martinez has now played in 20 games, so we pay out uh, Danes uh, $18,000. And Martinez with two goals and an assist. And you know what? I believe that may have earned him a starting place in our squad. Now, who's the other striker? Uh, Muhammad. Problem is, Muhammad's got 12 and 16 as well. And he's playing. He's got a 7.96 XG. Martinez, where is he at? A 4XG, and he scored 7. I don't think I can go wrong with any of these guys, but you know what? Muhammad, Muhammad may be the guy that I... Problem is, he's 32. I've got to build around McCowey long term, but boy, he would be a great veteran presence, and he's a real strong finisher. I think what I'm going to end up having to do is I'm going to rotate these three guys, but one of them is going to have to basically come off the bench as a super sub every game. I don't see any way around that. All right, so here's, remember, only one episode. We're, we're, you know, And it may not stay this way. Again, watch a couple of them. Watch this week's episodes, the three episodes up this week or however many I get to. Let me know in the comments at the end of the week what you think. Do you like the one episode? Do you not like it? Um, let me know why. Don't just say it sucks. You know. Hey, I don't like it. Here's why. Or I do like it. Here's why. And, you know, those of you that take the time to comment and those of you that take the time to watch the episodes, I'm always going to be open to listening to your input. Uh, I do want to come back. Let's come back relatively quickly. I want to come back for Dordrick uh, because that is a second round and that was our expectation. So we could go out of the cup at any time. And then at that point, we'll figure out how often we'll come back. Because, uh, again, normally I was going to do uh, Emin and Dordrick, and then we would probably come back sometime in February. So if I, you know, if I come back here, I probably won't come back till February anyway. But I'll do just one match instead of two, and then we'll jump down and probably do somewhere around, uh, you know, Dordrick or Ajax here. Uh, and I guess that's Young Ajax. Young, is that what Young is? Y'all let me know. Uh, is that Young Ajax, like their B team or something? Uh, and then we come back for Emin at the end of the season to finish out this year. But anyway, you know, we'll figure this out. If we like, if you guys like the one episode, you know, it's certainly going to be a little quicker for me. Shorter episodes to render, which should be quicker and quicker to upload, so I can turn these a lot quicker. Uh, so, you know, it'll be easier for me, probably. I'm just guessing because I haven't done any before. So let me know. And uh, one episode for the, for the time being, unless you guys tell me otherwise down the road. Have a good one, guys. Like, subscribe, all that other stuff. Bye.